Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy 2018. And today, uh, Mara's Monday Morning Messages is coming to you with fresh January 2018 energy. We're, we're going to start with rosemary. Rosemary is our oil of this week. So I'm going to put it uh, on my wrists and also on my heart. And so rosemary is the oil of neutrality, knowledge, and transition. It helps us to have a higher perspective, impartiality, justice, and compassion. So when you rest peacefully in your heart and you find stillness, this is where the neutrality lies. We can't push for it. We can't pull for it. We can't force it. We have to allow it. And the way that we allow it is by being still. And um, so ah, that's a tough one, right? Um, so, or it's one that, that we're practicing. So I'm practicing that one. So uh, detachment from situations and um, it helps us to support our mind's expansion uh, in terms of receiving new information and new experiences. And it reminds us that we're supported during these times of great change. So isn't that just perfect? Uh, and what's interesting, again, is that it comes up in a couple of different ways in the rest of, the, of our reading for today. So... Um, it's great to see some of you guys on, uh, on live with me right now. So um, that's fantastic. So, um, so you put your rosemary on. We'll do that every day. And, um, and then remind yourself, today is the full supermoon. And what, that, what happens is, you, you know, the sea levels rise. Um, the tides are really... Um, dramatic, especially here on the East Coast in New Hampshire, we have these really dramatic tidal changes, which are fun to watch. Um, but also our emotions go really to higher levels. So as we know, that can be good. It also can, can be a little challenging. So just have compassion with yourself. Um, this full supermoon is instructing us to look clearly at our past. Look at it clearly. Try and have a discerning view of your past um, before we move into our future. And this, this full moon highlights the home, women in general, and mothers, um, domestic issues, and security. So it's really asking us to look at our home life, um, secure it, and... Um, and there's going to be a lot of female um, energy, which is um, good to just be aware of. Also, you know, as we head into 2018, we've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks as we prepare for it. But it really is the the year for world service. But it's not it's not world service in that your focus is outwards. It's more world service where as you serve yourself and are true to yourself, you will be serving the world. Um, this is about pushing less and allowing more, which, you know, I've been practicing for a while. I don't, I don't know why. I just, I just have been. And that is what feels better for me. Although Sometimes sitting in that stillness and um, not having a lot of outward action can be a little um, disconcerting. But this is when we're honoring our personal needs and we are walking our talk. So what, what's the great advice that you give to people all the time? I know all of you give beautiful advice to friends and family. Are you taking that advice for yourself? So this is the time to do that. We're wrapping up the old from 2017 and we're focusing on trusting and following our intuition. That's that allowing where we allow more 
in and um, and trust more trust more into our intuition okay so our first card our Andara card of the day um, this is such a gorgeous one um, so really gaze into that Andara this is the Andara Sapphire and it is all about present moment awareness free of the past and unburdened by the future so it's that concept of really being where you're at right now. What helps us to do that? Well, kids, animals. I have a dog and a cat. They keep me very present. Um, my kids keep me very present. Doing things like um, making a meal or uh, breathing keeps us more into the present moment. So this is what this Andara is, um, is helping us to uh, remember and be reminded of. So when you are free of the past and unburdened by the future, it opens us to divine grace. And this, this Andara itself is radically opening our upper chakras. So that's throat, brow, crown, and uh, soul star which is our Andar that um, one of these new ones that have come in also the zeal point which is at the back of our necks and so when we uh, open up these chakras by gazing into this Andara we are allowing the blessings of spirit and the universe and God to come in it brings us more peace harmony acceptance and compassion so enjoy uh, looking at that and again you can uh, you can watch this and gaze into her uh, all week long okay next one from our moon deck this one is about rebirth so I shed habits that hinder my truth I release and renew so this is the first time I've gotten this card and um, release what you have outgrown and what no longer serves you. So you can see that um, it's a snake in this gorgeous um, piece of artwork. And the snake reminds us that we can shed, release, renew, and renew ourselves. She represents transformation, primal energy, and life force. So when we allow that release of old stories, old ideas, old habits, old behaviors, old relationships. Um, when, these, when they are hindering our truth, um, you will actually increase your life force. And I know we've all felt that when we've finally let go of something. And we have this renewed sense of energy because we don't have all of this energy tied up in something that does not feel good. And when something doesn't feel good, it really drags us down. Um, and so be aware that we're really right there. You know, it's the first day of 2018 and we're still in wrap up mode of 2017 and we're then feeling into 2018. And so as you do that, please shed these old skins. Um, I know I know you have the ability. I know that you have the courage and the strength to do it. And just keep asking for that courage and the strength and the bravery to do what you know you need to do. And that's what I do every day. <laughs> Please help me and give me um, the courage and the strength that I need so that I can do this, so that I can be the best um, version of myself. Okay, final one for today is the ringmaster of scrutiny so this when this card remember this is the card that we have that has an ally and a challenger uh, portion so the ally is discernment clear vision and details so this is about paying attention to the small details on your path it's in the details that will actually find great beauty and perfection, breathtaking beauty and perfection. Um, when you stay in the now, which is what our Andara is also reminding us to do, right? No past, no future. 
stay in the now. This one is, uh, this card is asking us to do the same thing. Stay in the now in this perfect moment. This is what leads us to manifest our highest good and our greatest desires. So isn't that interesting? Both of these cards, that's been the theme. <clears throat> Both of them, which I always find to be amazing. Um, how do we manifest? How do we manifest at our most efficient and most effective? It's by being in the now. Um, the challenger aspect is to observe your situation with discernment and clarity. And this is how we started what we were talking about today, um, is to look back at 2017 with clarity. That's what the full moon is going to help us to do. And this card is asking us to do the same thing. Um, it's time to see the flaws in your foundation. And in my foundation, we all have them. So when we find those flaws in our foundation, um, then we can do something about it. So don't get caught up in the details though. Um, you know, this is, uh, don't get caught up in the how, how everything is gonna manifest and how it's all gonna happen. We don't need to worry about that. Um, that's why we have all of this help and spirit, angels, um, guides, all of their help is gonna help with the how. Um, we just need to keep creating that dream in the now. So that is our reading for today and for the very, very beginning of 2018. It is promising to be a really, really powerful, powerful year of manifestation and of abundance. And um, I want to send out all kinds of love and gratitude and non-judgment to all of you. I hope that this year um, brings huge gifts and blessings to all of us and to our whole world. And um, I look so forward to continuing this conversation with all of you uh, in one week. Namaste. Make it a great day, everyone.